you should my friend. I have very good pyramid for you. We are now in Egypt inside Cheops Pyramid and we're gonna show you everything about the pyramid. It's very hot, very humid. There's a lot of people going up and down. Hopefully we can make it all the way there. Okay, so we have arrived at the pyramid. Take it here. Yes, thank you. Yes. Here, let's take it by car, not cash. I see, I see, I have very car, I have cash also. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I was expecting people trying to offer you stuff, but uh, literally, look at the amount of people. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's see how to get inside here. Hey. Okay. Ticket. We have one there. Okay. I'm gonna. Thank you. This way. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. Let me see. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay, that was a bit of a commotion. So, did you? What is your first impression of the pyramid so far? If you can get rid of the, the intense five, ten minutes, first ten minutes, you have this beautiful view in front of you. Which is this one? Okay. Seems there's a lot of people today here together with us to go and visit the pyramids and we're gonna try to squeeze our way somehow inside. There's a lot of people trying to get our attention, but oh well. Hi, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Everybody say welcome to Egypt. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. I'm finding you, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, I will. My first time. This is so cool, so nice. Thank you, so many people here. And the people, the kids are lovely too. Of course, everybody's like super happy. Yes. Yeah. So cool, so exciting. And Gigi, if you look over there, you see the Sphinx. Oh my god. And the Sphinx has no more nose, did you see? Oh my god, I've seen this like... Oh. Supposedly Napoleon blew a cannon into his nose. I hope he didn't. Well, anyway. And I had to tell everyone I'm scared of horses and camels so can they leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Haji. Very nice, thank you. Oh, Simona Hale. Very good, very good. You're very Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Muhammad Musala. Nice to meet you. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> Me and Marina, we have a wage going on. Like who has, the, who's gonna be offered more camels for just for fun? So who's gonna get offered more camels? So so far, I've had one guy coming to Michael and said, "I give you ten thousand camels, but small ones." <laughs> And I have zero. Zero so far. But I'm optimistic. I think I can do this. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, Marina, I think you can go on easily 20 small camels. <laughs> but who's gonna ride all those camels, Gigi? I cannot ride 100 camels. You don't have I have to pick one. You just have to accept them. Accept them, okay, and make myself a camel harem. <laughs> Oh god. Depends what you're into. <laughs> if there's one thing that I like about the pyramids and about Egypt so far, is the fact that we chose to come here in the winter. 
And in the winter it's way less hot. As you can see I'm wearing a long sleeve. And he's wearing a hoodie. Visiting here in winter. Apparently perfect weather. Wind is blowing. Nice weather, nice people. So far a very good experience here at the pyramid. Am I right? It's not very hot now. It's like perfect weather. Just to visit this super majestic place and like the last uh, one of one of the world's wonders here. And you can see Gigi all over there is desert. Yeah. And all over there is desert as well. And way behind us, the mighty city of Giza. Which is now part of Cairo because it's like a big conglomerate of everything. How could they build this 5,000 years ago? Uh, by hand. This is insane. Yes. I want to go and I want to touch one of the pyramids. Yeah, me too. Which one do you want to go first, Gigi? Doesn't matter. The middle one? The one with the still intact tip? Which one? Is this one? This one is the big one. Kale? And this one is the middle one. And the other one is the small one. This is Kale? This is I think this one. And this one Kefren and the other one Mikherinos, I guess. Okay. Yes. Very nice. I think we should go first inside one of the pyramids. And then get out? And then get out and roam around and have fun. Oxygen, yes. Yeah. So, it's one of the mystery here. Okay, it's a mystery how they got inside with the fire. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Everything has no answer. And what about the now? Where does the oxygen come from? Now? Yes. It's a small hole. So now. Yeah, uh, not much. Okay, I can yeah. see that. You can, sure that. you can see uh, inside there um, a small hole. Okay. Uh, and the modern, uh, modern uh, like, uh, something brings uh, the oxygen from outside. Oh, oh ventilation. Okay. ventilation. So modern one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the ancient time, no. uh, they, they were uh, a small window. Small Just window. Keep looking for the North Star. Really? Oh, yeah, I wow. remember there's a small, small, small little. Yes. You can look for the North Star. Jesus. Yeah, one. Hey, I remember I was a kid, my dad told me the story. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, also remember. But okay. in this time, I forget everything. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, I can imagine. It's like going up a high altitude mountain, you know, without that much oxygen. So that's pretty interesting. Just yeah. incredible. But don't worry, you will find your oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I'm not yeah. worrying about my oxygen, man. I'm okay. We have enough air. Yeah, we have enough. We all have enough air for everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Gigi, are you ready to go inside? Let's go inside. What's your name, my friend? Shadi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! How the heck were they doing this? things going on so pretty interesting but also just keep it to yourself like enjoy the moment like realize what these people have done like 5,000 years ago just with a uh, little oxygen and uh, with a lot of strong will <laughs> yes okay that being said come on let's get down from the pyramid because your sister is over there and already somebody's proposing camel for her okay oh yeah yes yes water and camel come on after you Gigi thank you my friend Bye bye. Like, I don't know. Egyptian tiger? Is there such thing? No? Egyptian camel. Egyptian camel? What's the name? It is Charlie Brown. Uh, Charlie. It's okay, I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, 
look, kid, look at my. This is Momia. Wait, this is Momia. Kaboot. Kaboot. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Doctor Anubis. Doctor Anubis. Yeah. I have found. Found? Pounds, pounds. Egyptian pounds. Egyptian money. Egyptian 200? 300. No, 200. 220. 200. One second, asking this one half 300. I give you 200 for this Just one. Just ask one more, this one. Seven dollars is Seven dollars is 216 uh, Egyptian pounds. Yeah. I give you 200 this Egyptian pounds. Okay. Is okay? No I think problem. it's good. I think it's good for So, uh, I have uh, three pyramids. Shukran. Okay. Thank you. Hagi. Hagi. <laughs> Thanks. I think he did. I, did I did I say like did he say I'm good at tackling? Is that a compliment from an Egyptian? Uh, that's a definitely. Great <laughs> that is. Just look at that, like the, the <laughs> Egyptian here at the pyramid. He said like good tackling. Oh. Maybe he's a very good tackler himself, and I just got like. I got some uh, vessels for uh, your spirit. Okay. With the bird, with the horse, and with the uh, Arabis. And I got some magnets for our refrigerator. Okay. And probably I overpaid for them, 300 pounds, but come on, you get them only here in Egypt, only at the pyramids. I think for that, it's worth it. Plus you're helping the economy out and you're helping the nice, these nice people survive, so not bad. And after horsing around here at the Panorama Point, taking pictures, enjoying the scenery, looking at the camels, looking at other tourists taking pictures of the camels, looking at the camels, being annoyed that pictures are being taken upon them and buying souvenirs and doing all sorts of things now it's time for us to go head back towards the pyramids and maybe see the Sphinx as well uh, I'm actually standing here which is the ramp that was going all the way from the temple to the pyramids so after the procession was being finished like in the temple the coffin, the sarcophagus and the whole procession was going inside the, the pyramid to, for for the sarcophagus to be deposited there inside. There's a lot of history here in Egypt and I'm pretty sure like if you've been like going to school and if you've been interested in like uh, learning about history you definitely found out some information about Egypt and its glorious history but just to be here and see all these things I think it's incredible and really really grateful to be here and to, um, it's a funerary place. It's a place where uh, people were just laid to rest, but for Egyptians it was like a rebirth. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. We have the pyramids, we have the things, and it's time for us to go. How many camels do I have to pay for you to get you home? 10,000. 10,000? How about you? 50,000. 50,000? 50,000 camels, 10,000 camels, 60,000 camels. Oy. I don't have that many camels. It's okay, I'll, I'll pay for her. You wanna pay for her? Yeah. Okay, and I'm leaving you here. <laughs> okay, that being said, see you in the next video. Bye bye! Don't forget to share, like, subscribe.